welcome geometry students to the homework help video. Um, I am making this video while my children are up running around, so there could be some background noise, so please just ignore that. We're doing assignment uh, page 176, numbers 11 through 29, so please have your books open, have your homework out, have your calculators out, have your pencils out, and be ready to roll, please. Either you're watching this while you're doing your homework to help you, or you finish the homework and you are now finding the mistakes on the ones that you missed. Either way, please make sure that you're not just copying um, the information. Make sure you're really learning. Okay, let's start off with numbers 11 through 16. The directions read, classify the triangle based on its sides. Not its angles, but its sides, okay? So we look at our first triangle here they give us. Notice we have a length of 3, 7, and 8. 3, 7, and 8. Now, none of the sides are congruent. All of the sides are different. So we have a name for a triangle when all three sides have different lengths. And the name of that triangle is a scalene triangle. So number 11 is scalene. <coughs> Moving on to number 12. Notice in number 12, we have lengths of 5, 5, and 3. 5, 5, and 3. Now if all three sides were congruent, we have a special name for that type of triangle. But when two sides out of three sides are congruent, we call that triangle an isosceles. Just cut off a little bit. Let me go ahead and write the rest of it for you. Isosceles triangle. Okay. Moving on to number 13. Now notice on 13, they do not give us any measurements. However, we have a slash through this side a slash through this side and a slash through this side. Now that tells us that all three sides are the same. All three sides are congruent. And of course when all three sides are congruent on a triangle, the special name that we have for that type of triangle is an equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle. Okay? Alright, let's move on to number 14. Once again, that's going to be the exact same type of triangle we have lengths of 5, 5, and 5. And so once again, based on its sides, the name of this triangle is an equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle, because all of the sides are congruent. Let's take a look now at number 15. Notice on number 15, we have measurements for all three sides that are 3, 4, and 5. None of the sides are congruent. They're all different. And so the name of a triangle in which all three sides have different measurements would be scalene. So a scalene triangle. And number 16, the last problem in this section, we have a triangle that does not have three congruent sides. It has two congruent sides. And when a triangle has two sides that are congruent, we call that type of triangle <coughs> an isosceles triangle, isosceles triangle, okay? Let's take a look now at numbers 17 through 22. 17 through 22 state, or ask us to, classify the triangle based on its angles, based on its angles. So we could have an acute triangle, an obtuse triangle, a right triangle, an equiangular triangle. All of those are possibilities. Well, let's take a look first of all at number 17. Okay, um, we have one angle that is larger than 90. Okay, one angle that's larger than 90. Anytime one of your angles in a triangle is larger than 90, then we have what we call an obtuse triangle. An obtuse triangle. All right, number 18. Notice all three angles, just like in the last problem. All three angles were not congruent. That's the first thing you look for. And then one angle is bigger than 90. Well, none of the angles are, all three angles are not congruent. So we know we don't have equiangular. All of the angles are less than 90. And so we know then we have an acute triangle. When all of the angles are acute angles, then you know that you have an acute triangle. Number 19, all three angles are different. And notice we have an angle that's exactly 90. Listen, students, when one angle in a triangle is 90 degrees, you automatically know you have a right triangle. 
a right triangle. Okay? All right, let's continue on now and take a look at number 20. Number 20. Okay, on number 20, all three angles are different. None of them are congruent. Uh, we do not have a right angle. We do not have an angle bigger than 90. In fact, all three angles are less than 90. All three angles are acute. So we call this triangle, based on its angles, an acute triangle. Acute triangle. Number 21, notice they only give you one angle in this triangle, but that's all you need. As soon as you notice that the one angle they gave you is a right angle, then you know right away that you have a right triangle. So 21 would be called a right triangle. Now 22 is pretty cool. Notice we have all three angles congruent. All three angles are congruent. When that happens, we have what we call an equi... My wife is laughing at my pronunciation. Equiangular pronunciation. What did I say? Oh, what is it? Pronunciation, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> I'm not an English teacher, but nonetheless, um, this is an equiangular triangle. All right? All three angles are congruent. Okay? And we're going to learn some stuff later about equiangular triangles and equilateral triangles that go hand in hand, and we'll talk about that later, not in this lesson here. Today we're just learning the different types of triangles based on their sides and the different types of triangles based on their angles. Now, let's go ahead and jump ahead and take a look at number 23. 23 reads as follows. A student claims that the triangle, and of course the triangle he's referring to is right there in your book. I did not copy that, but it looks something like this. I'll very quickly try to draw it for you. Um, looks like this, this, and this. There we go. And I guess we have 30, 20, and 130. And the problem reads as follows. A student claims that this triangle right here is both obtuse and acute because we do have an obtuse angle right here but we also have two acute angles here and here and then the question says what is wrong with his reasoning well students I hope you can very quickly figure this out his, his flaw the flaw in his reasoning is very obvious by definition an acute triangle has three acute angles and by definition, oh, and by the way, do we have three acute angles? No, this angle here is not acute. And then by the way, um, by definition, an obtuse triangle has one obtuse angle. And do we have one obtuse angle? Yes, we do. So this is an obtuse triangle. Now you can have more than one type of triangle. Um, you can have a a isosceles right triangle. You could have a right triangle that has two congruent sides, but you're not going to be able to have an acute triangle that at the same time is an obtuse triangle. That is an impossibility. All right, number 24. Actually, numbers 24 through 29. Now they want us to classify the triangle by its angles and by its sides. So let's start off with the angles right here. Um, it looks like we have 59, 59, and 62. So we know we're going to have an acute triangle because all three angles are acute. And then notice this. Notice we have two sides that are congruent. This side here and this side here is congruent. So that's going to be an isosceles triangle. So we have an acute isosceles triangle. It's acute because it has three acute angles, and it's isosceles because it has two congruent sides. So there, we classify that triangle based on its angles and its sides. Okay, number 25. Well, let's look at the angles. Immediately, you should see that we have a right angle right here. So we know that we have a right triangle. And then notice we have two congruent sides here and here. So we know we have, again, an isosceles triangle. So what we should have is a right isosceles triangle and that's exactly what we have a right isosceles triangle okay All right, let's continue on number 26 all right now let's see notice we have an angle here that's 120 degrees do you see that so you don't need to know what this angle here is or this angle here we really don't care as soon as you see that you have one obtuse angle then you know that you have 
an obtuse triangle and as soon as you see that you have two congruent sides one two then you know that you have a, an isosceles triangle so this triangle here would be an obtuse isosceles triangle obtuse isosceles triangle all right number 27 okay let's first of all take a look at our angles notice we have a right angle so we know right away that we have a right hold on my computer's freezing up guys sorry about that we know right away we have a right triangle we know that for sure now look at your sides this side has one slash this side has two slashes and this side has three slashes so all three sides are of different um, measurement all three sides are non-congruent so anytime you have a triangle that's three sides of different measurement we call that a scalene triangle so this would be a right scalene triangle a right scalene triangle all right number 28 well looking at all your angles all three angles are acute so we know for sure we have an acute triangle and then notice we have two sides that are congruent here's one slash here and one slash here anytime you have two congruent sides in a triangle um, then we know right away it is an isosceles triangle so what we have is an acute isosceles triangle acute isosceles triangle and I'm sure you with your great excitement now we're on the very last problem so that's good and let's see if we can't finish this quickly we have angles of 45 85 and 50 they're all less than 90 so we know we have an acute triangle for sure based on the angles and now look at the sides one slash two slashes three slashes so all three sides are not congruent and we call that type of triangle a scalene triangle so we would call this triangle an acute scalene triangle an acute scalene triangle I hope this video has been a help to you please continue to work on your homework don't quit don't give up don't quit working hard and call me or email me if you have any questions okay